know, I thought I might find you here. You should tell me before you leave the house. Not my mom. You're my sister. Yeah, I know that, okay? But I'm the one who's protecting you. Fine. No, I'm not hungry and I just want to be alone right now. I know it was not easy being at the hospital today. And for either of us. I know I know it's not it's not easy seeing mom that's so sick. I'm sad too, you know. You were sitting next to her, I, I saw you crying a little bit. Do you want to talk about it? You cried too. And I heard you in your room the other day. You cried hard. And I know what that means and I just don't want that. You heard me. Yes, I heard you. And Mom's not getting better. I know mom's not getting better, and I don't want her to get better. It's just that no one's telling me the truth. Oh, um, how do I say? You don't have to tell me. I already know. She's not gonna get better. No, no, she's not. I know, I know I should have told you, but I was trying to protect you. Is she going to come back home? Yes. Because she wants to be with us. And there will be these people who are coming to look after her. And they are, they're called hospice workers. And they're going to help her not feel pain while she's getting ready to go to heaven. How is she going to get to heaven? And Grandma will be there. She will show her the way. How long is she going to be here? Not long. But long enough for her to know that I can and I will take care of you. Before she goes to heaven, she needs to know that, that we will be okay. So that she can finally be at peace. Who's going to take care of you? You want me to reach you in bed at night? That's how you can look after me. Do you think you can do that? I can do that. I'll have to do this. I need to do it.